Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day. Well, I saw something today that uh, I said to myself, as the title says, here we go again. And, uh, you know, when this thing happened in 2020, we all know what I'm talking about. About a certain number, a certain uh, thing that happened where people had to stay home. People lost their jobs. People lost their businesses. People can either buy or sell without uh, having something around their face. And we know what I'm talking about. So I saw something today where the World Health Organization said, be prepared for another round of 2020. As you see in this article here. Now we know who's in control of this world and we know who's working for him. Some of them may not know it, some of them may know it. But I knew this thing would happen again. I didn't know when. I don't know when it's going to happen now. But you're seeing the Antichrist system continue to be put in place and the pieces continue to be put together. They want to control you. They want to own everything. They even have a motto of saying you will own nothing and love it. No house, no car, nothing. Everything will belong to them. And how do they do that? Well, they start by controlling you, controlling your finances, controlling your decisions, making you poor, and making you turn to them, and them having it all. You know, the mark of the beast is coming soon. The mark of the beast has shown its face a little bit with so many things already. I believe so, with certain things. Obviously, when you didn't get the, uh, you know, that uh, needle, um, you didn't take it, you couldn't walk into a store. But without your covering of your, your mouth, you could not walk into a store and buy something. What does the Bible tell us in Revelation? The mark of the beast, you will neither, neither buy or sell without it, without this mark. It will be in your right hand or your forehead. So back in 2020, we could not buy or sell without it. You could not go into a store without it. You could even walk into a store without it. Forget about buying anything. You were not even allowed into the store. So like I said, you want they want to control you. They want to own everything you've got. And they are doing it. They want to control your money. They want to control you. And what better way to have done it than what they did in 2020. To me, it was kind of a test run. To see how far they could take this. To see how much it would work. And it worked. They put people in a panic. Well, is there something out there? Absolutely. I believe there's something out there. I've called a couple of times. It, it was not fun. And I believe that since then. Things have, things that are out there are not normal. Now viruses are normal. But uh, the things that are out there now are not normal. But when I saw this headline. When I read it. I was like here we go. And as things continue to steamroll towards the end, we were getting closer each day, obviously. You're seeing these things continue to happen. And like I said, I'm not here to do a rapture video every day. I told you guys that, and I'm not going to do it every day. When I feel the need to do one, I'll do one. And this is sort of one. But remember what the Bible says in Revelation again. You will not, neither be able to buy or sell without the mark. Now, who's ever left behind? Will you take that mark? Are you taking the mark now? Did you take it in 2020? Or will you stand up for your faith? It will be a tough decision, especially if you have children. Like it was back then. I chose not to. And I'll choose not to again. Because it's definitely a warm-up, except for your prelude to the Mark of the Beast. Once the Antichrist shows himself, we will know how close we really are. And there was even talk about it that I also read where the Pope actually felt that Macron could be a world leader, the man from France, the president from France. 
We don't know who that's going to be. But the Antichrist will reveal himself soon. He'll sit on the, the Temple Mount, claim to be God, do signs and wonders, and deceive the very elect. He'll do miracles, he'll bring fire down from heaven. What Jesus told us, there will be many false Christ. Many false Christ. And this Antichrist will be claiming to be God, when there's only one God. And you'll see him coming with clouds, the Bible says, from the clouds. We're getting closer to the end, folks. We all know it. But we don't know the time. My channel never sets a time or a date. But we are getting there. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. And watch. Watch for the things Jesus told us. What would happen. And how to prepare. I love you all. I do these videos out of love. May God bless you all. Even the ones who don't want to hear that. May God bless you too. If you haven't found Jesus Christ, find him now. Time is running out. God bless you all. Bye-bye.